Hey prospectors, we've been in pre-season now for about a week and I thought it was about time to share our perspective on how it's gone. First of all, it's been really encouraging to see the CCU on Steam, that's the concurrent user count. We're very often in the top 40, almost top 30, and um, that's a great achievement, so super happy about that. Also uh, on Twitch, we see um, that, we're, that we're often in the top 15 and everything on Twitch is organic. We're not, we're not paying anybody. So it goes to show that tense uncertainty is pretty fun to stream and pretty fun to watch. I'm very proud of what this team has been able to pull off. Uh, we are a relatively small team and it's been quite a journey getting this far. And from here, here on out, it's going to be so much about listening to community and reacting quickly to issues. We've received a lot of feedback and a lot of it is critical and rightly so. So what are we going to do about all of it? First, there's been quite a lot of crashes and also disconnects. So with regard to the crashes, this has mainly been an issue with uh, garbage collection and this should be fixed as of today. Might not be 100% fixed, but we've sure, for sure made progress. When it comes to disconnects, um, should also be in a much better place um, as of today. Many of you have asked for a reconnect feature and have been quite angry that we didn't, didn't have one and that's my bad. So we're gonna prioritize that very, very highly and get working on it soon. The other major topic is cheating. We've detected more cheaters than we did in CB1 and CB2 combined. So with the power of Battle Eye and our, our own internally developed detection system, we're able to prevent um, a lot of cheats. We're able to ban people and we're being cautious until we gain high confidence in the data that we're collecting and then we will ban um, much, much faster. The important thing to consider is it's just the beginning of a long, long, long fight, but we're in this for the long haul and we won't give up. Okay, those were the two main issues that I wanted to address, but there's lots and lots of other issues, lots of smaller ones, but we're still really quite irritating and these are bugs. So, in release 1.1, today's release, we fixed the following multiple Fatui problems. This is the onboarding for new players. We've made improvements to climbing. There was a bug with player quarters. Uh, we've also fixed that, so the tech tree will actually work properly. We've made some performance improvements, but we have definitely more to go. The stim bug, the sound effect, that's also been fixed. The elite jumpsuit is now equipable, and we fixed a bug that could cause inventory rollbacks. So that's today's release, but what about all the other issues? What about the friends list? Well, that's for next week, probably on Wednesday again, where we'll fix the friends list. That's been a really difficult one to fix. We've had to really change the approach to importing the friends list from Steam. Loot respawns have been adjusted. They're a bit too slow at the moment. Uh, weapon balancing as well. We're going to look into the Manticore and the Shorties are maybe a little bit too good. We've made lots of map adjustments so you don't get stuck as much. The supply crate, there's a bug where you upgrade it but it doesn't get better. That's also been fixed. And bad ping. Bad ping caused by the matchmaker putting you in the wrong regional server. It's also been tackled. So that's it for this Dev Diary update. I just want to end it with one last thing. Our Steam review score. It's, um, it's obviously tough. It's quite disappointing to look at our Steam review score. It's not what we hoped for but it's what we deserve because um, we have too many issues and we need to focus on fixing them and fixing them quickly. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So thanks a lot for your support and see you on Fortuna 3.